All right, hey, I'm Preston. Uh, I'm here at Titan Fuel Tanks, and we're installing the 7010519. All right, let's get started. First step, we are going to undo the filler neck from the main, uh, main tank. So we just undid the vent line and the main fill neck line. The main fill neck line is seven millimeter and the main vent line is gonna be an eight, eight millimeter. And they're both worm drive hose clamps. Once those are in done, you can uh, pry or work the hose, hoses off the steel fill neck tubes. <clears throat> so we are gonna undo <clears throat> the return line and the feed line. And in order to do so, we can bend this bracket back to gain access. We're gonna undo the blue clip. Uh, you can get a pocket screwdriver and pry right here and it should pop right up. Once it's popped up, you can remove the clip or leave it in the up position like that. Uh, the next clip we need to undo is the yellow clip. And that, again, use a, uh, a pocket screwdriver and we're gonna wanna push up on this side a little bit and then on the back side and kind of work that clip up. So see how it's popped up? Now, what we can do is we push down on this, push the lines together, and then pull them apart. And then they, there you go. Now on this one, we're gonna, there's a black button underneath right there. We're gonna depress that button with our thumb. Can be a little hard. So what we can do is, if you'd like, you can spray it with WD-40, something like that. But you really just wanna work that clip, or button I should say, back and forth till it releases. All right, what we're gonna do next is remove the tank from the truck. We're gonna undo the bolts here, the bolts here, and undo the electrical connector for the sending unit. When removing the electrical connector for the sending unit, this red tab needs to be pulled back and then you depress that lever right there and then you should be able to wiggle and pull it out of the sending unit. When lowering the tank, be sure the vent and fill line are clear of the frame so the tank can come down smoothly. Uh, once you've opened your tank, verify that you have all the parts you need. You're gonna have a front support, hose clamps, an ICV valve. Uh, make sure your straps are on your tank. Um, you're only going to need a basic set of hand tools, 9 16 and a half inch, and you know, hand ratchets and uh, end wrenches. 15 millimeter for the strap bolts to install the new Titan tank. Uh, and make sure you got your instructions and warranty packet. <laughs> Once uh, the tank is out, what we want to do next is we're going to remove the sending unit, the vent line, and fill neck. Then we're going to remove the feed and return line, and we're going to transfer these to the new Titan tank. Uh, 
Um, when installing the sending unit from the old tank to the new tank, uh, you're going to want to be sure to clean, clean the sending unit area where the sealing surface is and lube the O-ring. Before installing your fill hose, you're going to want to put the ICV valve in. This is a one-way valve and helps with filling the tank. Um, you can put it in by hand, but essentially you're going to put it in right here into the fill hose. Um, you can put it in by hand or I like to use a 27 millimeter socket just like that and push it in. You want to make sure the direction of flow is toward the tank. All right, so now that the sending unit is in the new tank, what we're gonna do is lock the lock ring with that mallet and pry bar. Then uh, we're gonna tighten up the fill neck. One important note on the fill neck, uh, on the GMs there is a notch. You want that perpendicular or up and down um, to the tank. So one thing you're gonna wanna remember is making sure that the notch on the GM fuel neck is to the top of the tank. And then you can go ahead and tighten that. So what we're going to do next is we're going to modify the vent line. This is going to allow the tank to fill more smoothly and uh, we're going to use uh, this T. This will go in here, we'll cut that, we'll splice this in to the vent line there and then over to the 90 there. Now we're going to install the front support for the tank. This uh, carries the front weight of the tank and does exactly what it says, supports the front of the tank. On this model, the front support will be facing the forward direction. On a long bed model, it will face the in the reverse direction. Now that you've had the sending unit installed and the front support installed, the tank's ready to go back into the truck. Um, what we're going to do first is we're going to nose the front end in first and then lift the back up next. Um, that way it will clear everything and then we're going to make sure we guide the 
filler neck and vent line, I guess filler hose and vent line, into the correct area uh, to join back up with the filler neck. All right, so on the vent line, uh, the additional vent line, we're gonna route it up and over the cross member. This is gonna allow the fuel to have a, a drain or a path to get back to the tank. And it'll keep this vent line clear and full of air, what we, exactly what we want it to do. And then also, we are routing the vent line, the main vent line and the fill neck hose uh, up and over the frame to meet back up with the fill neck. That's what it is. When installing the tank and redoing your fuel, reconnecting the fuel lines, you kind of have to do a bear hug. You need to get around here. Also on this other side, reach around and then you'll be able to feel uh, the lines from the truck and then you'll be able to feel the lines from the tank and you can reconnect them and then push, essentially do the opposite of what I showed you earlier on removing the blue clip. You'll put the blue clip back in and then push the yellow tab back down on the yellow clip. One of the next steps we need to do is make sure that vent line gets connected to the 90 degree elbow on the back of the tank. Um, what we'll do, you can access it through the back here um, or on the back side of the tank, but what we'll do, end up doing is taking that hose, connecting it to the 90 degree elbow and tightening the hose clamp. Now that your tank's installed, um, double check all your work. Want to make sure your, your fuel tank straps are tight and in the right, right location. Uh, make sure your vent lines, your fill neck, and your vent lines are, are tight also. Check, double check your hose clamp. Once you get the truck lowered and ready to drive, uh, go to the gas station, fill the tank up. Once you fill the tank, uh, you're going to want to fill it to first click and then on half speed for the second click. Once it's filled, that's the time you can check for leaks. Just keep an eye on it for the next several miles and make sure there's no diesel leaking.